So we'll start off with the uh, Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now we'll move on to the approval of the agenda for the January 13th, 2015 meeting. Yes, I'm sorry, roll call. Let's start with the roll call. Commissioner Wall. Here. Uh, Vice Chair Mickey Ketty. Here. Frank Myers. Here. George Weiner. Here. Jamie Bowman. Here. Jan Bronze. Ed Latrell. Here. Great. We'll move on to the approval of the agenda for the January 13th, 2015 meeting. Motion to approve. Motion to approve. Is there a second? I second. Do we have a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, the agenda stands. Move on to the approval of minutes from the November 17th, 2014 meeting. Is there a motion on the minutes? Motion to approve. Is there a second? I'll second. We have a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Minutes are approved. Move on to the uh, introduction of evidence. I'd like to introduce the municipal code of the city of St. Genevieve and the design guidelines for the St. Genevieve National Register Historic District and staff reports. Thank you very much. Let's move on to the, uh, to the commission business. Actually, do you need to vote on that? Okay, we need a motion on the evidence. Is there a motion? I move to accept the evidence as presented. We have a motion. Is there a second? I'll second it. There was a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. The evidence uh, stands. Move on to commission business for tonight. The action items. First up is HPCA number 14-11-17, item A, a request for a certificate of appropriateness to install a front and side yard vinyl picket fence approximately three to four foot in height at 105 North 2nd Street or the alternative, a black welded galvanized steel fence or a cedar wood picket fence. Is the applicant here? Yes, sir. Great. Could you come on up and we'll <coughs> we have some questions for you. Just uh, tell us who you are and what your name is. I'm Bobby Reinbach. Okay. And we're just wanting to try to get a fence put up so for sure. our dog and my little grandson, we take care of it. Okay. Yes, sir. Understand? Uh, are there any questions for the applicant? You've got two uh, alternatives. Which is your pick of? I think we're decided to go with the wooden picket one, I think. That's what we're going to go with. Okay. Okay. Because you said there was no way we was going to do a vinyl one, right? We weren't in favor. I think that was everybody's consensus. We were not in favor of those right. vinyl pickets. They don't look right in the historic district. That's fine with yeah. me. Yeah. Okay. Is there, is there a... Motion or any comments? What material are you going to go with? The wood? The wood. The wooden cedar. It's like a cedar inlay. The fence guy that's uh -huh. around here puts them up. More? Yeah, more. Yeah, he does that. Work. Right. Yeah. His work. He's Just what do you mean with cedar inlay? It's it's a wooden picket fence is what it is. Yeah. The old the old timey looking wooden okay. picket fence. Is it decorative on top? Does it have a Florida lead type thing? No, top? it's just a wooden one. I don't think you can get the have you seen, well, not the Florida lead, just kind of a, like a spear? Yeah, it's just like a, the regular spear type. The like the one up from the road from you, 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 are you familiar with just up the uh, two houses up on the other side of the road, there's a, I'd say it's a womanized picket fence. Right. And, it's and something like that. Something like that. Yes, it's, yeah. it's, it's appropriate for the time. And you've got chain link right across the street. From you. Right. Yes, yeah. sir. So yeah. I'm glad you well, we was going to do the metal one, but I don't think the metal one, the ones we looked at, them decorative fences, they won't hold up like the wooden like ones would. How high is this fence? It's going to be four foot. Four foot. Yes, ma'am. Okay. That, that seems a good height. Okay. I'll make a motion to accept the cedar picket fence four foot high. All right. Is there a second? I'll second it. We have a second? All right. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Is that all you need from me? No one needs from me. We'll build a fence. All right. Thank you. All more. 
Yeah. All right. Up next is HPCA number 14-12-15, item B, a request for a certificate of appropriateness to install a 24-inch high by 15-inch wide sign on the stair railing advertising the E-Cygna Salon at 301 North Main, the mill building. And should, go on, and, and, and should we go to C also? Um, no, stay with B, but okay, it's a 15 foot wide. Oh, no, 15, 15, 15, oh I'm inches. sorry, 15 foot wide by 24 inch high sign. Sure. You right. should have pictures have a, in, your, in your packet of, have, of have a sign. Seat. Tell us whatever you'd like to tell us about it. Well, I don't know why it's being denied. It's been there for 30 years. All we have done is refaced it. It's, it was not being Oh, okay. It's a, staff, it's a recommendation based okay. upon the, so okay. the, the, the okay. design guidelines and the, the various rules that were in there. That, okay. It was just a recommendation. Okay. But you're here just for the sign, correct? I am, yes. Okay, is there any discussion or questions for the applicant? And this is, I, I'm saying, I'm looking at this picture, but you're not seeing it. Oh, I, this is the sign. I have it, yes. yes. That is the sign. Correct. See, it's where, this. Where's it going? I'm sorry. It's, it's, it's hanging on the is front. It's going to stay where it's at? It can, yes. That's the whole railing? We, we just left yeah. it there because of, well, we didn't want to attach it to the building. Right. So it's about the same vicinity as it's kind of hard to see. It is. It's blaring at us, you know. But the entrance to the salon is right there. We are not using the front entrance. It, the sign didn't used to say he said. No, it he said Gabriel Lisi. Okay. I like it there where it's going to be on the front. I don't, I don't really care to attach it to the building. I, I mean. It probably works good as a, just a protective phone for kids. And yes, so. As big as it is. I like that idea. Is there a motion or? I make a motion to approve the sign. Motion to approve. Is there a second? I'll second. There was a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Love your sign. You're, you're good. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right. Have a good evening. All right. Up to about next, HPCA number 14-12-15, item C. A request for a certificate of appropriateness to erect a new home at 750 Market Street. Is the applicant here on that? Come on, come on up. Good evening. How are you? Good. Okay. Tell us about your project there. Well, uh, we just like it says, we want to build a uh, put up a new home at 750 Market Street. I gave Petrie the plans, and I don't, I don't know if, you, if that's something you yes, passed they, around they everyone. Yes, they have the plans. I have the, the bigger version of it. If, uh, we can pass that around. We don't have good capability of copying something this large, so they have kind of pieces of it. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is the house. You can see that. First there. I got the miniaturized version. Okay. Good. Good. Uh, it's good. The home, just like a stay. I don't know which which one you're looking at. About 832 square feet of living, and about 90 square feet of storage on the back side of it, along with about 102 square feet of of a covered porch, all you know, kind of incorporated together. Uh, we'd like to build the house on a on a on a, a concrete slab. It'd be uh, uh, short walls, short footing walls around the perimeter, uh, filled with you know gravel and a concrete slab. Uh, and then I know one of the cons concerns that I have is the elevation where it's sitting because the house was sitting. The house is removed now. It got torn down about two weeks ago, so it's gone. We just have an empty lot. Uh, the uh, the house will be sitting approximately. I've got to get with. Uh, he hasn't been there. I tried to call him today. Um, Doug Bader is going to locate all four corners before before anything happens, and then we'd have to shoot elevations also. But the house would be sitting up approximately, you know, eight inches a foot above the sidewalk to, to keep any water from uh, coming into the building, of course. So it's going to be sitting up a little bit. Um, it's. Uh, 
down. It's a nice uh, looking little replacement house in there. Yeah. But I have a few minor questions I didn't okay. get the answers to. Uh, I'm glad that you mentioned the elevation because the other one, the demolition of the other one was approved primarily on the basis that the water coming down the street was overlapping the sidewalks in yes. the heavy rain and uh, it had rotted out the sill. Mm -hmm. uh, and I just want to be assured that it is being raised sufficiently yes. to keep it out of that same problem. Yes, yes. The, uh, and it's, uh, the other thing, uh, I notice you've got uh, uh, a, a roof, which is the uh, acceptable roof, but I don't see gutter and downspouts. It'll, it'll have gutter and downspouts on, and then, on, on the uh, front and back. How will you get into surface water then? Uh, it could be, it could be uh, drenched away, uh, put into a you know, drain tile, you know, going to the back side of the, the property. Okay. Um. I, I know we can't tie it into the, the, the sewer, and uh, so it's just going to be like a typical house. It's going to have a. Yeah. So there's know. certain there's certain conditions that are uh, have been pointed out in the ordinance uh, that we're supposed to look at when a new house is being built in the historic district. Uh, one of them is parking. Uh, is it, just be on street parking, or there'll be there'll be uh, two parking spots at the house off street. Good, good, good. Yep. Um, that that's something that was just you know kind of hard yeah. to do until I get my pins located and see where yeah. the house is. And but I just wanted to assure. Yes, there'll be there'll be uh, there'll be two. Create a problem on the street. Yes, there'll be two parking spots. Uh, now it doesn't show an elevation. But it does show front entrance, rear entrance. Mm -hmm. uh, if you elevate that uh, high enough, you're going to need railings and a step. And that doesn't show on the uh, plans, and I would guess that uh, the building inspector in the department <coughs> here will take care of that. But mm -hmm. that's one thing that may be, may be necessary. Yeah, I think it's if it's three steps. Yeah. There needs to be a railing. So that's that's just one question. I, it's going to be right in that. Yeah, and, and and if it needs to be, we'll have railing. Well, then you'll have to come back to us. <clears throat> You're in a pretty tight little area there. We've denied vinyl. We've mm -hmm. denied vinyl siding. We've denied vinyl windows. Uh, you put the steel door in front of it, or? Uh, I'm, I'm open. I'm open for, you know, whatever the, the all board's really recommendation is, is. Is the exterior look and all. All I personally care about is the, free, the streetscape, like the pitch of the roof. Mm -hmm. is, I, I didn't really review it. Does it mm -hmm. kind of match the other homes? Or that the house, the house, kind of looks very similar to what was, what was there. Yeah. It, it's it's basically a, a square uh, home design, ranch home design, uh, very similar. Even the where the kitchen's located. Uh, the only thing that's really moved is the uh, the, uh, the living room, the front yeah. the front bedroom, the living room is kind of flipped. The inside doesn't bother us. Yeah. A bit. I'm just kind of worried that we make a president here when you use your vinyl siding and your vinyl windows. And we've had a lot of talking in it right in that little area about when we were alive. We've had a lady come for vinyl. But this is a new house, so it goes by a different set of rules. It's chapter four and five, or chapter four. It still has to blend into yeah, the houses that are there, true. and we can't, you know. True. The, the house, the house that was there, was vinyl siding on quite a, on three sides. It was vinyl siding. Um, the house we own right next to it has, uh, and whoever did it has aluminum replacement windows in it. And this house is for what rental? We we don't know at this point. Uh, we're we're thinking. Uh, but you're in the rental business, right? Yeah. Yes. We're so thinking rental. Uh, it could be a rental. Mm-hmm. One uh, section in the ordinance I'm wondering if you had looked at is that of landscaping. It encourages it. It doesn't demand it, but it does encourage landscaping. And I was just wondering whether you were going to do anything. Um, we so, have no problem with that right now with the, uh, how should I say, the, the, sewer, the sewer pipes in, the, in, in town. We have, we have you know, several rental houses, and we have problems with the shrubs. They're growing into the 
uh, sewer pipes, the you know the waste lines going out into the street, and like that house, sir, we haven't had no problem. Never had no problem with that house. We just tore it down. But the this, the 798 Market Street house, um, it's it's been over that probably when when we first got it a couple times a year, and then it's, it seems to de decrease, um, you know, but. You know, that's that's one thing. I, you know, I it just right. it just it's, it's a matter of fact. These shrubs who are growing down are getting into these clay pipes well, and I'm not up. encouraging a vast I'm, I'm not array a, of shrubs. But the other and the other thing is probably the other house is an old sewer, and I'm assuming that you'll put something in better than PVC. Yeah, it'd be, it'd old be PVC. Uh, the other thing is it does a mandatory thing is if you cut down any uh, mature trees. They have to be taken down to ground level. Okay. And you did cut one big mm -hmm. tree down. Yeah, that's And different. there has to be a replacement tree planted. That's that. fine. And somebody, st <laughs> somebody stole a tree out of that yard too. There's uh, we had a nice little tree there, and it's there's uh, the whole bulb and everything is is totally gone. So got some tree thieves in the neighborhood, I guess. But uh, no, there's no problem with uh, putting a tree back where the one we just removed. Have no problem with that. Uh, that tree was just covering up two, three houses. Tree, 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 tree nursery. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's, that's not a problem to put some landscape. We're not opposed to, to that. I just didn't draw it on that. But it's just like we're just kind of. Can I see whatever, some whatever the, I threw mine away. I'm sorry. I was going. Of course. Yeah. Yeah, as, as far as the water going, I mean. Water, it's an issue, I guess. Of course, we're not going to be setting the house down where it was at, but yeah. the water's got to go around these buildings anyhow, so we're not really changing any of that. It, it's oh. If it's going around it before, and it will go around it now the same type of way yeah. Yeah. Um, with, the, with the drainage and everything. Yeah. What, is there a good uh, curb in front of that house? Is there a good curb? Yeah. I would call it a, a decent curb. It's more a city problem than your problem. But mm -hmm. if that old building was damaged primarily by water coming down off 8th Street, mm -hmm. you're going to have a an argument with the city anyway. It's going to be all, all concrete elevated up so the water be going around it. Yeah, well, let's yeah, hope. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it'd be, uh, you know, probably a four-foot short wall is what I'm picturing. and. You know, of course, buried you know, the frost line or what have you, but the water should go around it. It's just. Is there, is there a motion for anyone? Or? I'll make a motion that we approve the project as yeah. submitted. We have a motion to approve. Is there a second? No, second. Two Thank seconds. We'll pick one. Uh, yeah. 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 Just pick one, Petrie. All right. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. <laughs> to go build the house. Okay. Build Thank you. Yeah, it'll, it'll be a lot nicer. Well, what thank was you there? for letting us go in and take uh, or put a little hole in you the wall. Some souvenirs sure. with you. <laughs> I, I did. So I, 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 a few fleas were on my. No, it'll be like I said. You know, I'll just give a feature on on some landscaping and stuff too. Yeah. So it's. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we just like that, con you know, that elevated concrete panel behind mm -hmm. yeah, that little, little Yeah, little and I think that driveway is going to be going up against it, too. Okay. And, and it's going to be, yeah. there won't be too much sticking out, I don't, I don't think. Is it going to sit back? That's what I got to get with Patreon. We just got to, the big thing is finding these four corners and then going from there. Right. So you can know where exactly yeah. what's going on. Okay. All right. Thanks for being here. Thank, Thank you. Thanks. All right. Next, uh, next up is HPCA number 15-1-13, item A. A request for a certificate of appropriateness to replace the front door at 52 North 3rd Street. Is the applicant here? I'm here. All right. Come on up and have a seat. Ladies and gentlemen, my yeah. name's Tim Kinzel. Uh, about 2003 or 2000, I think 2003, 2004, somewhere in there, um, I had rehabbed the inside of 52 North 3rd completely. Of course, I had a fire. Everything was in, collapsed. Anyway, the only thing that was there was still the brick walls. So uh, at that point in time, I had been approved for windows, and I did wish to get approved at that time for a door that would match the windows with the nine light, uh, or the double pane with nine light in it. Anyway, it was recommended, well, the windows are OK, but let's hold off on the door. Uh, so I went with the wood door as 
commission requested. And here we are. I have painted that door at least every other year and tried to maintain it, but there's nothing, ex nothing to protect it. And I considered putting a storm door on it, but that would actually be a problem for anybody to actually open the storm door to get to the other door because there's no stoop to stand on. I know in the past it used to have an awning over the door at one time to protect the door. And it also used to have an old aluminum screen door on it at one time. And I know I, that got taken off also as old hardware and stuff as I rehab the building. Um, anyway, I'm back just requesting a uh, consideration to go with a door that would be something that would withstand the beating sun and still be safe to enter and still be solid without cracking up due to the environment and then soaking up rain and all the weather that comes from the west uh, that's what I'm that's what I'm looking at as an issue so when I got my paperwork of uh, the city recommended it be denied and I can understand it's not a perfect situation um, but I, I decided well I'm gonna at least go around and present some pictures too that all the pictures that were presented to the city are uh, to you guys from the city are all east facing houses and they all got either screen doors or storm doors on them um, which makes a big difference how wood doors gonna hold up um, yeah. mine just happens to be coming constantly from the west and I know if my front door on my my home wasn't covered, uh, that door I actually refinish with polyurethane on a regular basis. Also because of the baking sun uh, when it sets. But anyway, this other door I've kept it painted and everything. But if I put another wood door on, I got a feeling if I don't protect it some other way, it's going to end up in the same situation. And I know the adjacent neighbor has a steel door, and also a, a storm door on his steel door, but he's got a porch, and then every door down the street has steel doors. And there's other other buildings in this town that have more real historic internals that's, that's really historic, where mine all it was was a ship, brick shell that I wanted to, to come back and look nice and still be usable. Um, but it's a situation where I feel, not you, but Everybody else could, you know, kind of have one. But anyway, I just ask him for your consideration to have a fair shake and consideration on this door. And I thank you for your time. Is that a standard door, the 80 inch door or what? It actually is a 69 inch yeah. door. Okay. So I'm going to have to do something, but I'd rather have it still be steel. And there's aluminum clad windows in the town, right? Yeah, with their wood. Wood windows, aluminum, flat. Yeah. yeah. Replacement windows that were set right in the plane. <clears throat> yeah, it's a very short door. Yeah. And that door was all re glued, everything before I put it in. I made sure it was done right before I even last time. And Tim, that door, the door you have now is basically just a giant kind of glass window thing with a door around it, right? Exactly. So it's really kind of a glass door Which that's is held with... Now rotted all underneath wood. and the glass is slipping down. And right. It's dangerous, actually. Mm -hmm. There's a gap of the glass slip that much. The, the houses are very important to us because of the German type houses in town. Which Correct. Most people have recognized it as being the oldest. Uh, a steel door, no matter what you buy, is is not going to be appropriate for that area era of the house. Uh, however, I recognize the problem with wood door, particularly new wood doors. I mean, they're not making them out of the same old wood that they used to make them from, and they just do not hold up the weather. Yeah. Uh, you can buy them that do, but we can buy it at our house. Uh, so I, I'm not enthusiastic about putting a steel door in. 
but there are probably worse things that could be mm -hmm. could be done with the house. Uh, I. It just is not going to. Is it going to be the same kind of door, like will it have the big glass again? And the no. Or is it the nine light? I'm nine sorry. Nine here. Nine. That, that was my original plan was the nine light door because it matched and it's internally uh, separated between the two panes. So no, that's what he's. Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. I hate to see that it has aluminum clad windows in it in a historical building like that. The, uh, but when you look at it. It's out of shape. The windows were set into an old frame, but they yeah. look good. I, I personally feel that a wood door matching them windows were probably not looking nearly as good as, and uh, at a distance, people driving down that road, painted well. It's very hard to tell a wood door from a steel door. It's, a lot of people put these steel doors up and they don't paint them. They come in primary. Well, right, and if you paint it the direction the wood would be, oh, it's they, hard it's to tell. amazing. If the yeah. rain there, everything. If he puts in a quality door and it's not a flat panel driving down the road six, seven feet away. Can you get a steel door that size? I'm not sure. I just want Special. to have Special. the option to yeah. do yeah. if that beats having to yeah. replace a wood door every I just can't put a, I just don't want to put a storm door on because I'm afraid somebody's going to get hurt. Well, well it if they're a the rental property, too. builds up more heat. Oh, yeah. They even advise, it they even advise it, that the heat, you know, the way you're facing. I put two very expensive wood, saw, just solid wood on my house, and uh, I've had them replaced twice, the manufacturer replaced them. The humidity in the wood, it's, they just warp, and, and it's, you just, I mean, it, there was no, ex, you know, I didn't spare no expense buying them. And they were special made for the openings, but uh, I can look outside and wave at people drive by the doors, and, and it's, this is the second set I've had on. So uh, I make a motion to approve, and, and hopefully you can get a door to fit the opening. I second that motion. Sure. Motion is second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Go. Thank you. Thank you. All right. If I can, if I, you know, I don't have any left with the steel one, I'll, I'll try to do the best I can with the wood. Uh, believe it or not, hoods is a very good door. They make doors right. up there. there. Looking south at an old salvage place, see so if mm -hmm. you can find some old wooden doors. Yeah, they probably well, well that's kind of what I did last time. Yeah. Got them. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. so but every, every time it's bacon, it just cracks the cracks. grain and yeah. stuffs rain right in from the yeah. 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 Anyway, and I don't think an awning looks good. It never did. Yeah. I just don't want to go there either. Thank you. Thank you very much for being Thank here. Thank you. All right. Uh, last up to bat is the uh, notice of a demolition of the Northeast Brick addition to the Kisco building at 100 Market. Addition declared unsafe and pursuant to the public safety exception in the Historic Preservation Ordinance Permit. Application was taken directly to the Board of Aldermen on January 8, 2015. That's the last note here, but I don't think we're going to... You don't have any kind, of report, uh, any kind of report. I just was providing you information that, that uh, Jerry Hilbert, who is the tenant of that building, um, came to us because um, the, the east-facing wall was starting to collapse. It was all bowed and bricks were falling in. They were afraid that it would... The addition would fall, and it, it was bad. I mean, yeah. it was well, bad. Yeah. The brick wall I saw there's a hole in it, but no, it uh, was it was it was literally bowed like this, and there was piles of bricks. Stand in front of the building and look at this wall. <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly! And, oh, and yes, I, if he doesn't take it down, it, we're going to make him. Yeah. Uh, we're going to withdraw the occupancy permit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's yeah. it's it's yeah. not. Oh, it's, I've I've heard the story so many times. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, we I mean, we, we had an emergency on the brewery, and it stayed up for a year and a half, and nobody yeah. got killed, but lucky they didn't. Well, we I had an emergency mm -hmm. on the uh, old uh, shotgun house down oh, on, yeah. on yeah. Washington. Yeah. It had to be done quickly. It's a safety hazard. Yeah. So we approved it, and the darn thing stayed up for a year. Yeah. Right? They give you yeah. two years with the demolition permit. That's the yeah. problem. Well, if, this if, is if it's a safety society, hazard, there should be. There's something wrong with the ordinance. If yes. it's a safety hazard, it, it can down. stay up exactly. yeah. without any corrective action. 
Yeah. Now, you mean, anyway, if a building is in bad shape, they're too, if it's, if it's historic, and that's the only concern we have with it. The addition, was, it, the addition was not historic. It, the main building is. This is just a piece. For safety, it should come down quicker than a year. Yeah, and, and, yeah. and I don't know if you're aware, but Mr. Hubbard yeah. is a structural engineer, and yeah. he was very concerned. And he's not really particularly thrilled about spending money doing this. So yeah. don't think he was alerting us for, I mean, yeah. if anything, he's losing storage space by, by right. taking it down. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, we went over there and looked at it. I didn't even well, want to be in there. It was that scary. How much of it is coming down? The whole wall is bowed it's, in. Yeah, 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 the whole wall. I, I mean, I can get, I can go get the. Well, it's that. Well, it's, 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 yeah. The dimensions. It was 30 by 30. 30 by 30. So it's the two walls. Just a little corner. No, no, no. The whole wall so faced the east. Yeah, no, I mean, it is a corner of the building. Oh, oh, yes, it's just the corner of the building. It's the front much. corner, yes. Okay. Yeah, because there's okay. yeah. the main building, right. then there's a fairly good-sized addition, and then a smaller addition. Right, that's in the back, right. This is, this is on there. the market. None of them are too deep, and then you go back to some that block wall on the this back is, part. This is facing corner. corner. Or the yeah, corner. Corner. Okay. And the tracks. Right. Yes. Yeah. And, the, and part of the fear was... Arguably on the right of way. Yes. Yeah. I mean... So what's he replacing it with? Well, they're gonna they're gonna see how the the foundation is set, and they may take that back to make it a, a more of a loading area. So he brought this to your attention. Yes. Did he bring the vinyl clad, the aluminum clad? No, he did not bring to it your attention. No, he did. He did that just to show us. He that he's not set on that window. That was just a demonstration, just but to see in. what it looked like. It is in, but he's prepared to take it out. In fact, he doesn't like it, so I'm expecting him to take that out. Actually. Where's the window at? Well, it's one of the front windows. Yeah, um, yeah they put it in, and uh, it's not a, we didn't approve it. No. It's nice that he brought the wall to us, but I think the windows are a lot more important. <laughs> well, the window, he's, I mean, that, like I said, that was just put in there to see, say, what do you think about this? And I said, I don't think this is going to fly. For one, I think mm -hmm. those windows used to be metal, but they're all bricked in now, so yeah. it makes it hard to, do anything that looks original because right. they have to take all the brick out and they're not prepared to do that. Yeah. But, yeah. Okay. Let's move on to old business. Is it possible, Petrie, to do the uh, Audubon's and Exo Bob doesn't sure. have to sit there through Sure, that. sure, sure. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. I don't know. If, obviously, uh, I'm sure everybody's been by Audubon's if you haven't eaten there. Oh, yes. should. Good. But yeah. on the yeah. Merchant Street side of the property, mm -hmm. um, there is in the window the Audubon's logo mm -hmm. on that, like that. Yeah. And on the window now facing Maine, he would like to put the same thing. In the, in the um, same window. And I didn't think that that would okay. require a full, I mean, because you all have already approved that. And yeah, the, the big side. I, I think one of the things is also I'm a safety that. issue <laughs> because I don't want people looking up to see the big sign when they're coming up to the small side. Yeah. And yeah. so. She made a motion and I seconded it. So. I don't know. I don't know if we. Yeah. It's not appropriate to do a motion and a second on this one. Is it? You don't have. You're not. I didn't do a full we don't need to do it, or so anything. Just, I was just needing to make sure that everybody was consensus. Engaging by the reception, everyone saying yes. Okay. Yeah. Please yeah. go ahead yeah. yeah. and do that. Yeah. 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 But we would have been faster if you'd have bought food. <laughs> <laughs> no, we it's have so right. much. <laughs> <that we're laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Right. Thanks for being here. All right. So now we'll go backwards to. Yeah. Uh, old business discussion about the revised ordinance, the meeting with Rebecca Rose, the State Historic Preservation Officer, and the board work, work session on Thursday, January 8th. So, um, in the Corps of Engineers. In the Corps of Engineers. In the Corps of Engineers. The concern was raised, I think, in our November meeting about our position with the state and with the National Register and the National Landmarks. And um, they had reviewed the, the revised ordinance um, and they were perfectly fine with it. They don't really look at the specifics of it in terms of what guidelines you choose or how you choose to go about it, just that you have a commission, that they review things, they pass on things and move on. They were concerned a little bit about a technical issue of whether or not the districts had ever been actually designated on the St. Genevieve Register, because as you know, if you're on the Landmarks Register, on the National Landmarks Register, or in the National Register Historic District, 
It's just honorary. It doesn't impose any regulation. It has to be local. It's a local regulation of a local landmark. So we have a separate ordinance that just makes that clear that, mm -hmm. yes, those districts are on the St. Genevieve Landmarks Register. Okay. Yeah. Um, but that was her only concern, and the Corps of Engineers had no concerns at all. Well, the Corps of Engineers, their representative was so new that she was lucky to find a way in the door. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but that's who they said. She was their, their cultural resources person. So, I mean, that's who they sent. Right? I mean, we yeah. Didn't yeah. yeah. I called and said, who should I talk to? That's who I got. That's yeah. who you got. But my, my concern with that is I've never said if, you know, if we don't maintain our historic buildings, somebody's going to come in and make us pay it back. Mm -hmm. That it has that said. Yeah, it has been said. No, but that has been said. Uh, been said. said by yes. so we have, we have in yeah. correspondence, and you'll find that if you yeah, probably, that we will take measures to protect the historic district. And, and there's and nothing in that ordinance that doesn't is, do that, though. What? There's nothing in the ordinance that doesn't do that. Uh, no, but it weakens it. Yeah. No. It, I mean, with regard to contributing structures and landmarks, it actually strengthens it. Uh, well, I don't read it that way. Okay. Well, and, well you know, know what, I mean, you know what I, just, I, I mean, the, the guidelines still apply to landmarks. The they the still apply to yeah. contributing structures. The committee come up with recommendations, and the Board of Aldermen will say whether they do it or don't mm -hmm. do it. Yeah. But... Uh, if you look at it very carefully, there's some things in it, I think, that are definitely weakened. And uh, it's not a crisis yet, but the nonsense that the Corps doesn't care whether you do it. They may not come back and say, well, you've got to pay your money back. But the next time you need them, they may not be there. I mean, we have... The historic community in the city has gone out to the various agencies over the years mm -hmm. and acquired a great deal. And it usually wasn't the re elected representatives. I mean, after the historic grouping got things started, we'd go to the local politicians, then to the state, and then to the federal and we get things done. And we just don't want to see that. <laughs> I would rather it wasn't a historic com yeah. community doing it. I would rather it was the elected politicians. But yeah. you don't see a great deal of uh, emphasis on historic preservation out of the elected mm -hmm. group. Yeah. And so you've got to be careful in how you revise any ordinance so that you don't weaken that. I've said too much. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I feel exactly too. I mean, I'm, when you, you know, we have a landmarks commission that's separate from the Board of Aldermen and all that for a reason. St. Genevieve is, is taking it different than most communities. We, we have a little controversy or something, and it goes to the alderman to be cited. It's been doing that for years. That's wrong. That's wrong in our rules and our guidelines and in the alderman's rules. That's wrong. It should have went to a board of advisors. We haven't been doing that. Uh, and now we are uh, documented where the state and the federal government are fully aware of it. And a prime instance, when this house was tore down, landmarks denied it. But it went to a board advisory, but it didn't. Board of Adjustment. Board of board Adjustment. Adjustment. There you yeah. It didn't. Uh, the levy built around the town, uh, they're not going to complain about your changes because really they're not concerned. It's until things start going wrong because of the changes. That's how I feel. Mm -hmm. I work with the Corps of Engineers when we're working on these levies around here, <clears throat> and the stories I hear is just scary. Uh, the farmer's levy put rock on it. Corps of Engineers will have nothing to do with it now because the rock was supposed to be removed. Did they order them to remove it? No. Did, are they doing anything special? No. There's only a little stretch of, of dirt levy down there that the Corps of Engineers will show up on. And I was there working, and I asked him about it, and the leader of the pack told me that they stoned it, they're supposed to take it off, and uh, 
we jeopardize just a little at a time, a little more at a time. And it's like tonight, we, uh, we really didn't have too many visuals on the fence. I, I'd like to see visuals. You know, we used to make people come in and show us the fence. I asked them for that material. I mean, well, I you, should, you know, you know, and that's, I feel that when they come to you, you should say, hey, you have to decide. Now, we don't really know what we're getting. It could be, he said cedar, well, he approved cedar. Yeah. He's going to check on something. Uh, the door, we really don't know. The window, because he really don't know what he can get. You know, now if it comes back a flat panel, like a door like that, still, he would have denied yeah. that. You know, but he, we just didn't. He had a picture of what he wanted. Now we don't know what he's going to get. Yeah, we right. don't. And when it's yeah. on TV, you can go back and look at what they said. Mm -hmm. Our minutes don't show really exactly. Uh, we wanted shrubs in front of that house because there's a distance where the concrete's going to show and you've seen panel forms you know the vinyl siding looks good but so i, I just think we need to watch what we're because we're just giving them too much leeway to go and, and it all boils down to is when somebody starts judging us they judge us for what we're done not for what we're getting ready to do you, you, you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. uh I, it just goes back and back i built a mom, my mom's house right in the middle of town very easy to do. New home right in town. A basement home in front of town. I didn't like it, but it's the way it sat in there, and they allowed it. This home Kinsel's working on has got aluminum clad windows in that's a disaster. I mean, it's the worst. Drive by and look at it in this historic house, but landmarks allowed him to do that. So, I yeah, think... I, I, don't know. I don't know when that came up, because I... He I said it was, they were wood windows. They were, they were wood. Well, they're clad. wood, aluminum clad. You don't see any wood. wood. They're, yeah. they're a wood window that's got aluminum on them, which is terrible. And plus, they were replacement windows because that's why the aluminum is that far on both sides all the way around. We've got to yeah. come to the point where we say, we don't care what happened in the past. We've got to clean. The house across from the guy that wanted to put it's got a chain link fence up. Chain link in the front. Yeah. So, it, Chain link fence there has been there for right. so, uh, right. as long as you know. Oh. Right, but yeah. we had a lamp. Well, we didn't have a landmark set. No, but that's right. right. It's but been there as, as long as I've been there. We're going to run into that. Yeah. The base had it for the Wilders. We're going to run into that trouble where these people mm -hmm. are going around looking because we yeah. denied vinyl siding down the road. We mm -hmm. denied uh, vinyl railing. And now he's going to need a rail. And I hope, we, you know, I probably should have said we'll approve it with coming back for the rail, you know, the, the vinyl shutters he's putting up, we've denied them. I mean, I think we need to look at it just a little bit closer. You guys, in all fairness, the, the whole reason they're doing the rewrite is for what we're describing right now. Because they're trying to streamline it, make it easier, make it more sensible, make it more efficient, make it more consistent. So that's... So, so they're changing the guidelines? No. 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 See, that's what, that's what needs to be looked over. These are these. Yeah, these I, are I don't. I disagree with you. I don't think that. I don't think. That, I don't think that is going to sell anyway. So how are they making it easier? To be honest with you, it's, how are they making it easier then? It's going to be more. More when you when you apply. Yeah. Much of the applications will flow through the administrative yeah. You know, if somebody wants to put, if if somebody you know has a standing seam roof and they want to replace it with a standing seam roof. They don't have, they don't to, have to come to landmarks. Well, they don't. Mm -hmm. yeah, if, like they're, they're, if they're in the national landmark district and they're not a landmark or, or within the vicinity of a landmark, you don't have to come to us anymore because... So who, who judges? You know, our book says, we have a book that judges what's landmarks, what's contributing right. every house. Right. So is that and the same guy? Same, same book. Mm -hmm. So really, you're kind of doing the same thing we are. No, no. So let's because say, a landmark and a contributing structure will still come to you. Right. We'll so, still come to you. So where you denied the ones tonight. I didn't deny anything. I it recommend, says deny. It you says recommendation. Staff you know. recommendation. Yeah, what is it? It says deny, but it says staff. So what's denied? The, no. The, the, no, the, no, the, no, no, no. That's no. not right, Ed. I, 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 no, I'm going to take that back. I'm not saying myself. No. He thought it was denied. Well, the, the public it, thinks it's denied. Well, I, no. I don't know what. I'm, I'm following the warning that everybody uses. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what this. The darkest, but you have to deny work highlight. Well, because I'm trying to make it easy I'm for you guys to it's see easy for me. I understand. I agree with you. I'm just saying the public doesn't look at the yeah. way Yeah. Yeah. So I don't. I don't. No, you know. I don't. I, I'm I don't following the same format that's been used right. I don't since think the beginning. I, I don't really. Yeah. He thought. He thought other the other jurisdictions. Yeah. 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 He was upset because yeah. it was denied. Who Who was upset it was denied? The guy that was put up. 
one of the options, and, and we can do this, is, is, just, is, is, yeah. is we, just we don't have to make a recommendation. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, yeah. I, uh, but if you don't want to recommend most boards I'm just want like, the I like technical expert yeah. to <laughs> review the yeah, recommendation you know in saying? light of the adopted regulations just, and advise you. Yes. I'm, I'm just saying, saying I like that. that. shouldn't have mm -hmm. to do it. Right. No, I like yeah. it. I just say when people come to me, they're mad because it's denied. And I tell them the same thing you say. It's not denied. She, they don't have the right to deny no. it. And I don't tell, and I don't, and, 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 and to be clear, There's I don't tell here. them what you will do. I said, right. these are the questions that you will likely exactly. ask. That's all I say to them. I don't say, I would never presume to say what right. you all would do. Right. I only, right. oh, they ask me, what will they want you to do? What will they want? I'll say, well, this is the question they will likely ask. That's all I ever say because I don't know what you would do. Obviously, yeah. I mean, of the of the three, uh, four, two of them, I recommend denial, and you didn't deny it. Nobody even wanted to go on denial. No. No. So obviously, you know, That's what I would do and what you would do are maybe yeah. different things. Yeah. So you know, I'm going by the guidelines. I'm trying to give you the it's information just I like think is well. Your next door neighbor. I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm just yeah. telling you what upsets the public. He was upset. Angie was the upset. Meeting. Everybody's yeah, upset. Yeah, yeah. She was upset. Yeah, was upset. Ethics, but he was very yeah. upset. He went back out and took other pictures. They don't understand what you mean when you say that. Well, they, yeah. you know, I'm sorry that they're not. Re it says staff well, recommendation. Yeah. 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 Since I've been on here, that was our. I think, yes, yeah, so I'm not saying we're going to change. I mean, I'm happy to not put it in bold. She had a bold. I mean, I'm just doing it. I just had this discussion in one of our cities and counties yeah. because it's a great relief to the staff not to have to make a recommendation. Yeah, I would prefer to But again, most yeah. boards want it. Yeah. I mean, and I, yeah, in some, some cases, people And sometimes I will yeah. say yeah. It's, they a, it's a should, they close should call have. on this. And yeah. this particular uh, applicant, I believe, was an alderman. Yes. I hope mm -hmm. that he understood something about the procedures. And uh, he shouldn't have been too surprised yes. by yeah. it or yeah. misled by a recommendation. Yeah. Uh, she was. He was a, He was upset, too, about it. But she was, yeah, and I'm just saying if you're going to soften something, soften that a little bit. I don't think it needs to be highlighted dark, denied. On and their copy. Oh, oh, yeah. Our copy. Our copy. Our copy. Our copy. Our yeah, I always look at that. I always, I always look at the, the recommendation. I agree with it a lot, but but I don't. Okay, well, by, by having this in old business, okay. what are we hoping to achieve here? That's, I guess, there was nothing. I just wanted to alert people. I have copies of the revised ordinance and the highlights, so you can see for yourself uh, what what they are. Um, and the ordinance as drafted, it will go, undergo another revision to clean up some technical stuff. But other than that, it, it, the, the substance will remain the same, um, I believe. And um, so if you're I'm interested, like yeah, um, happy to. One is the. So is it uh, still going to remain five members instead of. Seven? Yes, but it would. they suggested that there would always be a majority of the five that have to vote in favor of. So if you only have yeah. three at your meeting, all three have to be unanimous. Yeah, I, okay. boy, I didn't like that because yeah. it got down to yeah. the point where yeah. you can have two, two people. Oh, yeah. Sure, yeah. Yeah. sure. Yeah. Um, okay. So are we yeah, done with a little business and moving on to new now? Or? Yeah. Um, on the ideas for grant funding, I wanted to bring up what we're, there's a grant that we're looking at uh, applying for that is coming up um, for a historic preservation grant. and. We're kind of in an unusual situation where it has to be a 40% local match, which part of that can be in kind, but this, you know, this, the city doesn't have any extra money laying around. So we do happen to have some money that the water department has been allocated this year. And we would like to install a GIS system, which I don't know if you all are aware of what a GIS system is, but it's a geographic information system. And it's basically will allow us to map where every historic asset is and, and contain in a map various data points. So for example, if we had put in the data all I houses 
built between 1900 and 1920. I could press a button and it would give me a map and show us okay. everywhere those houses are. Okay. It, it, would, yeah. it would, could tell us all kinds of different information okay. about, you know, where the older houses are, where the houses are that have certificates yes. of appropriateness, that have building permit. I mean, the, the list is endless. Yeah. It's a tool that is used by cities, usually larger cities, but they're, it's becoming more accessible to small cities. Okay. Um, and um, one of the things that, um, I mean, I've been concerned because, you know, we have this crazy, these crazy maps that are, like, really tiny. Yeah. We can't yeah. figure out where anything yeah. is. And I'm trying to, like, highlight in pen where the historic right. houses right. are. And it, yeah. it makes it hard to do any kind of analysis at, at How times. much is it going to cost? Well, I don't know how. Uh, we, we don't know yet. Okay. But, but I think the base system is, like, $5,000. And then you build layers. So we could have literally somebody input data related to crime statistics in historic houses. We could, okay. we, we, we would map where our water lines are and our mains and how old they are. And okay. I mean, it's just an amazing, it's an amazing computer program. And as she said, it's something that the water and sewer department has been interested in. Right. You just never had the money and the grant will help facilitate, right. facilitate that. that. But we would use the, the, the portion to build, to buy the system, but then build the historic preservation layers. I was starting to write down all the things that we could do. We could say, wow. where are all the houses that have slate roofs? Press a button. There they are. There they are. Yeah. Um, so you could send people, like like even Mr. Kunzler, we could say, here are 10 houses that are built in the same era. Here's where they're located. Here are their ages. Here's the pertinent information. I mean, it, the, yeah. the uses are endless. Yeah. And so, what I would seek and from you all today, 40% match. It's a 40% match, and so what um, the cost be of this? I don't know. We don't have the cost figures nailed down yet. We're getting that information. So but all I would need from you all tonight is just a resolution saying, please go forward and, and uh, get okay. this grant. It, we're very interested in having this grant money for this purpose. I think mean, um, it's over $10,000. Yeah, it's probably yeah, over $10,000. Well, that type of stuff can be expensive. I know I've had to build, get as built, which we had. Well, we, it would not yeah. be, today everything is done this is a, in the cloud. Yes. Yes. You, yes. Yes. Yeah, and that's <laughs> yeah. why. Yeah. Yeah. You don't yeah. have to have a machine right. at your disposal. You don't have to pay somebody else to, to maintain data. I recognize that. Yeah. Right. That's, yeah. that's my question. I mean, what? Yeah. It well, we sounds would, like it's going to be quite expensive if you uh, put a man out in the street because we have no, well, they, they have we devices. Have no centralized data. We need it. We huh. don't have it. GPS? Yeah, they're going to, they, yeah. you can, exactly. they have yeah. GPS machines and they'll go, go to a stop sign and they can. Are you, is that going to be included in the grant? Uh, no, it would not be included in the grant. No. But that would be a capability. But it's another $5,000. Yeah, right, right, right. So now we're up to 15000 Well, no, I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, to pay to get the basic parcel information and the ownership and what, prom, that is a data-heavy thing. So part of the things that I would like to do is find out if we could get some, you know, historic preservation um, students from SEMO to yes, come and yes, help us yeah. mm -hmm. identify these structures and their key features oh, yeah. so that okay. we could put that in the information database okay. and they could okay. do the data entry because obviously that's going to be a big data entry kind okay. of thing. Um, but, it, you know, this is just for this one grant. There's going to be grant funding in June and we can talk about ideas for that next time. Okay. But for, for tonight, we need the commission to say, yes, we resolve, you know, that, that this is an item that we would like to see happen for the city of St. James. Well, to, uh, it, it can be it's a two-step. I mean, is one, you would find out what it's going to be and then come back for approval to go for it. No. Or is this to go? This is to go for it. Yeah. We, don't, we, right. we are we're literally been so, notified and, and had no time to discuss right. it because we weren't here in December and so we're, well, we're we also need a, a, a board resolution. Board of Aldermen. Yes. Right? And that will require a budget figure. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I'll have that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We have accessibility to grants as landmark too. Could we could work that into it as far as our have the authority to contract no. with the city. No. Right. No. Right. Well, I thought, no, right. I thought Brenda 
got grant money for special yeah, projects. Yeah, but you went to the Board of Aldermen and asked yeah. for permission. Yeah, well, that's yeah. what I mean. That's yeah. what I'm yeah. saying. I mean, right. we could go to the Board yeah. of Aldermen and say that we'd like to use the grant money available to us to join in on this project. Well, well you are saying that by, say, by, by just so saying... That's what you're telling us tonight. Yeah, I couldn't yeah, figure out what yeah, you were saying. Yeah, we yeah. agree to what? We we're just agree to, 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 to tell Petrie to go get yeah, the green we'll along with our green Yeah, <laughs> essentially. So, uh, yeah. Maybe we should tell Petrie to go get the green <laughs> 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 Okay. So, and, then, and then I would be thinking about other projects. Um, last year, there was no grant funding, and I don't know if it was because of, you know, the timing of Brenda's departure or, yeah. or what. It doesn't matter, but... Um, Anyway, the, it, think yeah, about the kinds of things. Yeah. There will be grant funding available later in the year for other projects, and it, it, it's possible that we won't get this grant. So it's very competitive, and mm -hmm. this would, I think we have a strong case because we have so many historic structures, yeah. and we just are not managing our data very well with regard to yeah. those. So. Um, the anyway. we've gotten here to board been for education and yeah. training. Right. Training, like right. window, how to care for wood windows right. and right. stuff right. like that. So. Right. Um, so anyway, so that's so that's that. Um, if that's okay, if everybody's in agreement. Mm -hmm. Should we take a, a vote? Yeah, I guess or, we're or, or, uh, all, all in favor of, of uh, her getting the money Aye. for that? Aye. Okay. Aye. Anyone opposed to it? Looks like it's a winner. Mine, mine is made with reservation because we're buying a Picking a poke, I mean, we don't know what we don't we're getting in. Yeah, we well, don't know what it's worth. We're going to go. You know, the pig is better than no pig. So it's my pig. If we don't get it, it's because there's no money out. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. I mean, it's competitive. So, so yeah. $30,000 and she gets it. Great. It might. The county has a system, but they have a big system that looks at the full county and and they have lots of data files because they look at a lot of different things. And it was like $150,000. Oh, yeah. Yes, it would not be anywhere near that kind of thing. Community, yeah, community Foundation might be a good place yes. to also to look yes. for some of it. Right. You've got to wait until yeah. next December. Right, right. No. Oh, well, it might have been December, but we can do that still. Okay. Yeah. Okay, next is the uh, call for 11 most endangered historic properties for 2015. Mm. Um, we haven't done this since 2013, um, and so I think it, there are some structures that, you know, we, we've done well on the ones that were in 2013. Um, quite a few have been restored and yeah. saved, um, but we still have a few that, that, you know, I'm worried about and I'm sure you're worried about. So um, I would uh, urge you guys, I will send you a nomination form. I filled one out. <laughs> um, it doesn't have to be, you could ask your friends who, what they would nominate if they, they thought that. It doesn't have to be necessarily for you. But um, the Ziegler Street house I'm very yeah. concerned about. It's yeah. stalled in terms of renovation and it's in, you know. It's, I think it's for sale. It's for sale now again. So. Um, yeah. So anyway, I I think that they would like to see it go into good hands, um, but okay. but that wouldn't be the only one that you know yeah. we would want to put on there. But we would need your input on that okay. if, if you guys would okay. like to do that. Isn't there some data, co computer site where you make historic properties available? Yes, there's a lot. Actually, quite a few of them. Mm -hmm. okay. Where you you can tell realtors to put their properties on those sites right. and and. I'm sure there's fees associated with it. That's the other thing, a GPS system. We could list all the houses, all the historic sites that are for sale. Yeah. Make, you know, make the, the GIS available to the public online. through our website yeah, online. Sure. And, you my know, house, somebody could just tip, always for sale. you know, yeah. click on it and see what's for see sale. See for sale. Yeah. I mean, oh, or at least direct to, you know, a yeah. real estate company or something. <laughs> so anyway, um, I think that's a good program, and I think we we ought to think about it, and then we publicize it and talk okay. about it, and that way we bring some attention to it. So okay, anyway. then we have the ideas for community programs. There was um, a couple of years ago, you all did something where it was like a hunt, look for this particular, you oh, know, there yeah, were pictures. That was, that was mm -hmm. yeah, that was good. And I thought people good. seemed to enjoy. I mean, from what I saw, it looked like yeah. people really enjoyed that. Mm -hmm. it was in the paper and. And yeah. I think something like that, if there are ideas that, that you have read about or, or okay. think of that might be something fun for the community. We live that yeah. One. Yeah, I mean, yeah. we can redo we that one. That. I mean, yeah. like that's, there's nothing. There's a street. Yeah. These are all things that the, the, the 
certified local government program wants us to do. Student That's why I brought it up. Is sure. that you know we shouldn't just be sitting here. Yeah, we, we should be having a retreat. We should be doing these things. But the idea for community programs, it's got okay. it'll take time to. Do yeah. and so if that's something you all would like to do, I'm more like than happy to do that. Looking so. going in. Yeah, that was there. excellent. Yeah, that was in the summer. And it was yeah, actually, people talked to me about it at the ball games. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You walk, you walk so, around. Yeah, and better walk. weather yeah. is is one of the better. a better deal yeah. Yeah. for that. Yeah, it yeah. Is. It is. It's a little cold in this weather. So, so share your ideas if you have them. Okay. Um, so that's about it. Okay. Is there any citizen input? I don't see any citizens, so I don't think <laughs> no, there is. We warm out. So in that case, is there a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Motions are second. Second. All favor say aye. Aye. aye.